Hello, my art friends. We have our sketch box to break open for April. I'm very excited. I actually got this about a week ago. However, I've been a little under the weather and not able to film. But today is the day to make some great art. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, in case you don't know, Sketchbox is a monthly art subscription box. This is the premier one or the top level box. There's a couple different levels and prices. And if you happen to have missed last month's video, I'm going to put it right here for you. Uh, it was a really good box. I thought it was really fun. Okay, let's just get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and just get all the materials out at once. We're going to do something a little different. Okay, there's a note in our box that they didn't get the little cards that show us what our materials cost. I'm going to have that down below for you in case you're interested. This is our sticker this month that features our aqua markers. Okay, we have here tricolor markers by Spectrum Muir. These are watercolor markers, and each one has three different colors in it. That's very convenient. We will test these out in just a moment. And this is a nice block. I do like a block style watercolor pad. But this is very smooth. This is hot press finish, so you're not gonna have that texture as some of the other watercolor papers I use, which is fine. Sometimes you don't want all that texture. You want a smooth, nice, heavy duty paper. And as I said before, a Karen Dosh water pen. These are nice because you actually can suck the water up. Now this is probably going to go in my walnut ink kit. I like to use walnut ink a lot and I use these pit pens that are in the brown colors to accent and make fine details. And we got this Equaline liquid watercolor. Uh, it looks like a blue it just says 505. I don't see a color on here, but it almost looks like an indigo navy blue. Okay, great. Here are all our, our materials. Let's get to swatching these out and testing them. Okay, let me demonstrate how this works. The top actually plunges up and down, and that way you can get a nice full tank of water there. You just put the cap back on and you're ready to go. Okay, so I swatched them out and then these swatches I added the dry and then I added water to see how we, it would react. Not very well. So now I'm going in with wet on wet here. And the results are, in my opinion, better. So you can use it both ways. You can draw with these, add water later, put water down, use the markers on top of the water. That's how I think they look the best, but hey, that's up to you. Let's test out this uh, Ecoline liquid watercolor. Now with this pen, you can put your own liquid watercolors in them and make your own markers because it's a different tip. It's like a marker tip. Uh, I'm not going to fill it with my watercolor. I'm going to just dip it in if I need to. I don't know. I don't want to get that tip stained. I might save this for later. Watercolor from Ecoline is as expected. Lots of movement when you drop it into wet paper. Yeah, pretty nice actually. Nice color. It's a little brighter than I anticipated. It's hard to judge when they're in the, a bottle like this. Let's get to making some fun art with these new materials.
are my petunias I tried to do. Um, to be honest, this is not my favorite art supply. I struggled quite a bit. I couldn't get it to quite do what I wanted to with water down. It doesn't blend. Now, the equal line, this right here, this is pretty nice. This reworks nicely. This does everything I want it to do. Uh, the markers are a little rough on me. Uh, and it might be just because I am not used to using them and don't know how to use them properly. But yeah, they don't re-wet. They don't rework. Even when you have water down, then the pigment doesn't really show up that well. And you have to go over it and over it and over it. And then you're almost destroying this paper. And maybe it is the paper. Maybe it doesn't like hot-pressed watercolor paper. But yeah, I this was a little struggle. But that's okay. That's how you learn what materials you're going to like and which ones you don't like. Um, this isn't my favorite box, but that's okay. Somebody else might really enjoy these. Anyway, let me know down below if you have any tips for me on how to use these properly. I'm sorry half my video cut out, but at least we got the last half. And I will see you in my next unboxing. Bye!